Hey everyone, it's Mike from Orderflows, and in this video I'm going to talk about um, Delta and how what doesn't happen can be just as important as what you expect to happen. So before I begin, you know, a brief disclaimer, um, this presentation is for educational and informational purposes only, you know, trading involves risk, don't trade with money you can't afford to risk. Now, the software I use in this video is the Orderflows Trader from Orderflows.com. It runs on NinjaTrader 8, and yes, it is the software that I sell, but you know, this video can be applied what you're going to learn in here can be applied if you're using any other footprint chart i think mine is the best though all right so what i want to talk about is something that you know i get asked quite a bit from traders is you know mike you say delta when delta is positive markets generally rise when markets negative delta is negative markets generally sell off why do you say generally isn't it always right if delta means you have aggressive positive delta means you have aggressive buyers shouldn't the market be rallying or you know if negative delta implies you have aggressive sellers in control shouldn't the markets be selling off well you know in trading sometimes the things that don't happen that you expect to happen let me rephrase that sometimes the things that don't happen as expected are just as important if not more important than what happens as you expect it so what i mean by that is here's a market here's crude oil it's a five minute chart and you can see we got the swing high up here at uh, 52.70 and the market is starting to sell off right we got four candles in here with positive delta as the market keeps trading lower you see positive 336 positive 82 positive 96 positive 558 and you're thinking why are we going down you know we got positive delta the market should be rallying aggressive buyers are in control now you know in, in one of my previous videos when i talk about delta i said generally well the question is you're gonna people will say is you know why is this market going down why do i get red candles with positive delta well the reason why is because early on in the candles generally you have strong passive sellers that the aggressive buyers were buying from all right you see up here 110 uh, 192 you see the offer side is is obviously heavier than the bid side right that's why you got positive delta 96 same thing the the here you got a big seller in here 611 that just stands out you know 346 298 you know these are strong volumes but the one that really sticks out is this 305 right here this buying imbalance you know you got positive delta of 558 obviously this 305 contributed quite a lot to it but what is causing this is you have passive sellers right you know we tend to think only in what's the aggressor doing in the market you know people that are buying the offer or selling the bid you know those are the aggressive traders but there's times where passive sellers have a lot of inventory and they're going to be offering it out to absorb all the aggressive buy in this case the aggressive buyers you know everyone you know this market sells off over two bars starts rallying but you have passive sellers up in here with a lot of supply happy to offer it out you know to absorb all the aggressive buying that's coming in finally these aggressive buyers are tired market drifts down market drifts down you see the aggress aggressive sellers or sorry the um, passive sellers in here offering it out for the aggressive buyers you know the aggressive buyers can only buy so much before you know they got no more bullets left but you know the the big sellers right the ones that are going to put their put a cap on the market put their foot on the neck of the market are offering it out right they're going to offer it down you know the the, the big producers the big commercials they don't just go in and willy-nilly hit all the bids you know they offer it out you know they're trying to get good prices you know they they've got a lot of inventory at you know that they probably are sitting on from much lower prices they're happy to sell it here at 52.50 they're happy to let all the aggressive buyers buy it they're happy to sell it here at 52.45 you know they don't have to go in and whack it all the way down you know their view is, is so long term that you know they're not so price sensitive as opposed to a short-term trader that you know is probably you know trading you know within 15 20 ticks of where we are right now you know these guys their entry could be you know five dollars away ten dollars away so what's causing this positive delta is the supply in there you know the passive sellers offering out a lot of supply that the aggressive buyers are buying from but the passive sellers are absorbing it now you know there's going to be instances when a market is rallying on negative delta um where was it here so i think it was around one yeah here 120 right you got a couple red bars 
right? Negative delta, yet the market's going higher. Mike, what's going on? You know, red bars, the market should be trading lower. Negative delta, the market should be trading lower, right? You see these bars here, okay? You know, negative delta, red bars, market's going down. Here you got market going up on red bars. Now granted, this is a five minute chart. Five minute chart, you know, any time-based chart is based on time. It's, it's not a rotational chart, like say a range-based chart or a tick-based chart or a point and figure reversal chart. So, you know, right up after five minutes, boom, the bar closes, right? New bar starts up. But what's happening in here, All right? You got negative delta 67, negative delta 93. This time you have passive buyers, you know, people happy to um, work bids to support the market, right? You can see here, this 304 is probably what kicked off this positive delta, of, or sorry, this negative delta of 67. There was a strong bidder here to absorb all the selling that was coming in. You know, as this market is start rallying up, someone's bidding it. You know, people are hitting this bid. This guy's happy to sit here. You know, boom, you know, bar closes, start trading higher. You got more passive buyers. Look at the, the bid side versus the offer side. You know, just roughly, you know, 106 against 99, 147 against 111, 206 against 176, 139 against 102. It's a little hard to see there. Let me open it up. Um, but you can see all the volume, majority, what's on the bid side, 320 versus 225, 188, 157, 139, 102. You know, at each price level, you have stronger um, supportive buying than resistant selling. You know, passive buyers here are more holding up this market. I don't want to say um driving this market but you know they're bidding here they're happy to bid here at these prices and let the aggressive sellers sell into them that's why you got the negative delta right finally these sellers are just tired you know the, the aggressive sellers got no more bullets in their guns so to speak and then what happens to the market well just 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 down and then boom you know the aggressive buyers you can see here um you know i don't know if these passive buyers got aggressive all of a sudden start lifting these offers. You can see it's very thinly traded in here, but what's supporting this market is the passive buying. So, you know, it's it's more of an advanced concept in, in order flow. You sort of got your get your head around. It's a little bit hard to explain sometimes, but, um, you know, watch what happens in the market with the Delta. You know, if you're seeing negative Delta on a rising market, pay very close attention to it because what you're seeing is supportive buying in the market. You know, when you see negative delta in a rising market, again, pay attention to it. It's what doesn't happen as expected that is, you know, going to be very important for you. You know, if a market is falling on um, positive delta, what's causing it? You know, ask yourself. I mean, these are questions you should ask yourself. You know, most traders, they just want to have an indicator, say buy here, sell there. You know, that's, you know, that's not trading. That's just following um you know, something else, you know, as a trader, you know, you're going to get your best trades by analyzing the market and saying, aha, yes, I understand what's going on. I understand why this market is rallying now on negative Delta because I have supportive buying just as, you know, earlier, um, where was it here? You know, why this market is selling off. You know, if I see this big imbalance up here, big positive Delta on a red candle, you notice even the next bar where we do, we rallied up right? This is a root candle, five minute chart. So this bar opened up here, rallied up. Where did it do? It rallied right up to that level. Couldn't get past that level. Again, that's a nice bearish sign. What did the market do? Boom. It reacted, came off, closed a little bit lower. Next bar doesn't even get anywhere close up here. Um, and then just sold off. You know, this was a nice move from basically 52, uh, 34, you know, basically down to 52 bucks. You know, there's a nice 20 cents to be had out of that out of that move so again you know thanks for watching this video if you're interested in my software obviously just go to my website so anyway have a great day everyone bye bye